Mabuhai, Kamustika, welcome, how are you? This is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. Is time on my side? Is time on my side? Uh, the Bible says your life is like a vapor that appears for a little while and then vanishes. I find myself frequently saying, that was five years ago? <laughs> that was, you know, 10 years ago, or three weeks ago, or I can't believe that was 30 years ago. And it's scary. At first, it's kind of like, oh, that's interesting. You know, boy, time's moving by fast. But eventually, you realize it is like a runaway freight train. Time is really getting away. Now, I'm 56. My mom is 85, maybe. And she tells me, and other older people told me that, yeah, the time goes by fast in your 50s, but wait till you hit 70 or 80, the time will go by even more fast. And to be honest with you, that scares me because, um, well, that's just the pressure of life. You know, you have this whole life to, to make the right choices, to take advantage of opportunities. And, um, you know, time is very important. And, uh, and this is a factor in, in uh, finding a Filipino wife, too. Life is like a vapor that appears for a little while and then vanishes. It's, it's so true. But you have to live a while before you can tell that. The Bible also tells us to number our days. And what numbering your days means is to know how to make the, good use, the best use of your time. You want to prioritize the things that you do. You don't want to chase after things that are meaningless and worthless. You uh, want to um, make the most of your time. You don't want to waste it. You want to make it count. When you're younger, it seems like you have more time to waste because you figure you've got so many decades left, and, but you really don't know that. Uh, we are to number our days. You know, the Bible says we don't know what a day may bring forth. We don't know when our, when our time is up. God does. He knows exactly when it's going to happen. He knows exactly how many heartbeats we have in us. But we don't. Another verse the Bible talks about redeeming the time. Redeeming the time. So, for uh, somebody that is looking for a Filipino wife, somebody that's single, does not want to die alone, um then you'll need to consider time and where you are in life and continue or intensify your search for a wife. Are you going to continue or are you going to intensify it? I would not give up, although, you know, again, you have to consider this based on, on your own age, your own physical condition, and um, how content you can be, you know, if you're going to be single. Um, I just could not, could not be single. I, I didn't want to be single. And so I kept thinking, you know, there were times I would hear the clock tick and it would bother me because I knew that was one less tick that I had in my life. And so I, I, I almost didn't even want to hear the ticking clock because it meant the time was slipping away. But it also meant that I better get after it and, and keep looking. Uh, try different things, uh, be more intense about it, but I needed to find a wife. So you consider how many days you have left and how important finding a good wife is to you. You know, I talk to guys in their 20s and 30s who are interested in a Filipina, and I think it's great because they could marry one and still have potentially, you know, 30, 40 years or more with her. And, um, yeah, a young man can find love in the Philippines. It's uh, another video I'm going to do. Um, but not all of us are, are looking for a Philippine at that age. We're older. I was 53. I'm 56 now. And I, I wanted to be married. And I felt the time was running out, but I still had some. And I had to really make good use of it. So if you're in your 50s like I was, time is not on your side. I don't want to be negative. I don't want to be pessimistic. I don't want to be discouraging. I just want to be real. At some point, you have to realize time is no longer on your side. What this means is you have to be more 
proactive in searching for a wife. I had to find mine in another country, of all things. Something that had never crossed my mind before. Not even another state. Not even another city. But I had to go across the world, but it was worth it to find an excellent wife. Um, maybe it's just my, my personality, but I believe that a man needs to find making his wife the highest priority at this point in his life. If you're 40s, 50s, 60s, um, maybe things went wrong the first time and you've learned and you want to make it better the second time, I think you need to be very serious and proactive about finding a wife, even if you make it the highest priority, because you're running out of time. Now, by the way, uh, there is no marriage in heaven. Um, that kind of sounds like a, a discouraging thought, but the Bible is clear. There is no marriage or giving in marriage in heaven. That marriage is a, is a structure for here on this earth. Now, that does not mean that there won't be uh, meaningful relationships and you'll, then the, that you won't know your spouse in heaven. I'm going to do a video about that too. I've got about 90 some video ideas to do, so I can't get them all done at once. But no marriage in heaven. So if you want to be married, it is going to have to be here in this earth. Make it a priority. It's kind of like uh, losing weight or exercising, dieting. You, you nearly have to be obsessed with it if you're going to get anywhere with it. Time is running out, but there is still time to find a wife if it is used wisely. In football, at the end of games, if your team is behind, they will use what's called a hurry-up offense to make up time. They, they may run different plays, employ different strategy, because they are against the clock and want to win the game. Now, that often means taking more chances, throwing the ball. The other team knows you're going to throw the ball, so it's easier for them to, to rush the quarterback, get pressure on him, and uh, you know guard the receivers good and, and get an interception. But they're desperate. So don't get yourself in a point where, you know, you're really, your back is against the wall. You know, if you're in your 40s, 50s, even 60s, get serious about a wife. The good thing about finding a woman in the Philippines is you don't have to know them for 10 years before you get married. A Filipina wants to get married quickly, just like we did. Less than eight weeks, you know. Um, so, yeah, I kind of went from starving to uh, feasting there, and, um, and it happened very quickly. And so consider that, too. If you're going to date somebody in America, it's going to take a while. You're not going to marry somebody in, you know, in eight weeks or, you know, three months, four months, five months, probably in the United States. You can get married as fast as you want to, but you've got to be aggressive. You have to know what you're looking for. Uh, you have to count the cost. So... Um, I found my wife on Christian Filipina, but you have to consider the cost of remaining single, especially as you get older, with the financial of cost of marrying a woman overseas and joining an international dating site. Yeah, it costs some money, but what, dis what doesn't? Uh, but the cost of being single, I'll have a video on that too. Uh, I much rather would take the chance, you know, trying to get married than to be single the rest of my life. You'll also have to deal with the fear of rejection. If you're like me, that's all you had on the U U.S. dating sites or in person. I couldn't get anywhere, no, nowhere do we know somebody, I already have a boyfriend or, or, or whatever. Or messages not returned on dating sites. Um, but it isn't that way with on a Filipina dating site. Um, they, they actually want to get married. So it's a sobering thought, but we do have to consider time. It may have been on our side at one point, but right now it's not. So what you have to do is don't lament that, but just realize you may have some activities in your life that you need to stop doing because they're interfering with you being able to go out and find a wife. It's that important. You may be spending money on things that aren't as important as investing that on a dating site, and then, of course, you're going to need money to spend on her, uh, to get married, to immigrate her, and to live with her, you know, and, until she finds a job. 
So don't let time run out. The clock is ticking and we don't even know when it's going to strike zero. So these are some sobering thoughts. Just wait till I do a video on, on death. Uh, but, and I will. But for now, uh, just think about this. But um, I'm glad, glad that I made it a priority to find my love beyond the sea.